And I'm Zach. And we're traveling A to Z. This week we're in the desert in Southern California. So we're currently going to the mud pots. We are outside the Salton Sea and probably about five miles outside of Neeland. And we're going to this weird geothermal, I don't know what you call it. We're going to the mud pots, which is supposed to be bubbling mud. And now they're thinking it's more like a bubbling spring because it has so much water. So these are the mud pots. It's not hot. Apparently it's ambient temperature, but there's some kind of gas bubbling up through the water that makes it bubble like that. And it kind of smells like rotten eggs because there's bacteria in there that can survive in that acidic water. And it's moving about, what, two feet a year? 20. 20 feet a year. So, yeah, it's moved a little bit. It's the only mud pot in the world that's moving. They say about 40,000 gallons of water come up from these a day, which is a lot. So you can, you can kind of see the bubbling occurring. Pretty cool. If you listen carefully, you could hear the bubbles. So apparently scientists have been investigating this area because it's the only mud pots that are moving and typically mud pots and volcanoes don't move. So it's kind of interesting. The area is near a train track and so it's moving towards the train track. So they're trying to figure out what to do to stop it from moving. They've tried to put like steel rods down to make it so it will stop move. That didn't work. Um, what else did they do? Try to well. Oh, they tried to do a well to have the gas and bubbles come up from different areas and that didn't work. So they're really at a loss. So scientists, this is a mystery for them. Even National Geographic has been here, which is pretty cool. As they bubble up and have steam, they make these cone shapes out of the mud. And that's what you see, what all these little, these cones are everywhere. It's crazy, you would never even know this was here. It just looks like a field until like you have directions to the place. And it's not marked, so you just have to look for these little cones everywhere. So, pretty neat. Definitely worth a little stop and if you're in the area. I wouldn't drive here just to go to this place, but if you're in the area, it's pretty cool. You could stop for like 10 minutes and see them and you pretty much have the place to yourself because there's like no one here and no one hardly knows about it. Our next stop is to the Salton Sea. Please subscribe below to follow along on our adventures.